What's going on guys, welcome back to another beer review. Today we're reviewing Constant Elevation, which is another beer by Cloak & Dagger Brewery. Um, so I've had this one on my shelf for absolutely ages, since before I did the um, double IPA one, which was the first beer that I did, Pray to the Deity. We've had a few since then, um, I think we've had two or three in between. Um, so I'm really happy to be finally getting to, to this one. Um, it's a Hellas or Hell's Lager, I don't know quite how you, how you say that. Um, I think it means like bright or light or something, as it does, but whichever one that I always think it is, it means the opposite. So bright or light. Um, and um, I think usually it's made with like Bavarian, either the Bavarian hops or Bavarian yeast. This on the side here says classic German malt, Huel melon hops and Bavarian lager yeast. So at least with this one it's yeast, uh, but I'm not sure about general um, Hellas or Hells it, um, processing otherwise. Um, it's got another legendary um, can artwork, so just as mad as the rest of them, um, and really, really cool. Like I said, I had this one for a long, uh, long time, so I've had a long time to sort of appreciate the can artwork. There's obviously sort of blues through there and um, and that sort of thing, so it's really, really nice. And on the side here, it says positive energy activates constant elevation. It's always got a little anecdote which I always read out, so I've read that out <laughs> for you guys now. It's 4.8%, so we're looking at 2.1 UK units. As you can see in my hand, it's a 440 ml can. Um, so not too strong, but I don't really think um, how as large as are. They tend to be around the 4 or 5% mark from um, from experience of the ones that I've had. Um, I'm expecting kind of like a nice straw, straw golden -y, um, straw to golden colour um, with this one being quite sort of lager flavoured in general. So let's give it a try. Let's put it first. Um, not getting a huge amount of smell, really, just a kind of generic, kind of hoppy lager f smell. Hops is in more of a lagery. Um, maybe it's more yeast I'm, I'm, I'm smelling, but yeah, very sort of general lager smells I'm getting. Look at that, heads going really, really quickly. We'll probably get nearly the whole can out. Um, just as I suspected, a kind of nice um, middle orange, just darker than straw colour. Obviously, we're not looking for any thickness, um, so it's generally yeah, pretty pretty thin, and looks just like a generic lager you'd see on tap in a pub, really. Um, but hopefully, there'll be a little more depth to it because it is it is still falling. You know, the craft range. It's a particular you know type of lager rather than being just a generic beer that you're going to drink just to get you drunk. So, I think it's worth. Getting into it, giving it a few sips, trying to develop a flavour a bit more and seeing what we get. It's nice and <clears throat> it's nice and bitter. It's got a kick on my tongue like lagers do. It's really quite tasty, but it's, it but but it's nice. It, it, it does just taste exactly like a lager. Um, but but really really delicious. It doesn't taste like a boring lager. It doesn't taste like one that I'm having sort of forced down. Um, it doesn't taste too strong either. With any lagers, you don't they don't really exceed about five and a half percent. Um, so four and a half, four point eight. Sorry, is pretty decent. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not getting the. I know they put Huel melon hops. I presume it's meant to be slightly melony flavored. Tastes like melon, not. Not the name, <laughs> um, but let's give it a few more sips and see if we can maybe develop that. If it's meant to be that flavour, Huel melon hops might not have anything to do with melon, but let's give it a few more sips. If I could equate it to a brand, um, actually it's probably best I don't do that, um, but yeah, it doesn't taste too different from what you'd get on tap. It's a little bit nicer, a bit more refreshing, and it is quite crisp, which is good. I mean, it's a really nice, a nice flavorful lager. Definitely, obviously, it's a lager, so it is, it is in general, taste less craft. It tastes a bit more, like I say, like I'm drinking it, you know, in a pub or something. It's still got a craft edge, um, but yeah, because it's a Hell, Hell's Lager, Hell's Lager, um, it's obviously not going to taste as, as fruity or anything like that. I still really enjoy a lager flavor. It's definitely my go-to, especially if I'm not looking for like craft beers. If I want to just 
feel the beer. You know, if I just want a beer, I don't want any sort of frills, I'll definitely go for a lager. But I think Hellers and, and um, certain types of craft lagers are nice because they're kind of like a middle ground. Um, I mean, like Camden Brewery does quite a lot of these kind of things. I think one of the most famous ones, um, is it just Camden? It's not, is it? Camden, it's the Camden Hells is what I'm thinking of. And that's really, really popular and not even in the craft circles, it's popular mainstream because it's it's just a little bit nicer than a generic kind of Euro lager. I think this one's sort of in the same in the same boat. Um, so I think in terms of what I'm going to give it, um, in general, I think it's a quite nicely executed lager, um, a Hell's Lager, but ultimately, like, it's not going to get so high of a mark for me because um, it's not, it just, it, it's a lager and it just kind of, yes, it tastes like a lager, but um, it's, I don't find lager sort of perfect by any means. The reason I went into craft was to move on from, from, from lager. So um, with that being said, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I think it's really well done. You know, if you think of two and a half as the middle mark of like generic boring, definitely, definitely better than that. Uh, nice and flavorful. If you do enjoy these types of craft beers a bit more, <clears throat> as in a slightly tastier lager, but still, but not perhaps you don't quite like the craft kind of fruity flavored beer so much. This is definitely, definitely give this a try. See if you can get your hands on it. Cloak and Dagger, I don't think it's as popular um, outside of East and West Sussex um, than, than some other craft breweries, but I hope, hope that I'm shedding light on them a bit more because they've always got this epic, um, epic can artwork and always really, really ex well executed beers no matter what they brew. Like I said, this isn't, like I've said before in previous videos, not my last one that I've got to review and probably won't be my last ever. Um, but we've got another one um, in the shelves coming in sort of the next few months. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this beer review. Let me know what your favourite Hell's Lager is. That's a challenge for you guys. Um, do, you like a, do you like a Camden or do you like a German one? Let me know. Let's get that conversation flowing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, guys, keep drinking those craft beers. Um, remember to give this video a like, um, subscribe if you've yet to do so, and as always guys, I will see you in the next beer review. Peace.